Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to day five of my trip to Scotland. Now we've since left Skye and we've come back over to Glencoe. We didn't have any sunrise this morning after our sunset shoot last night in Elgal. Sunrise this morning was pretty much non-existent so we decided to have a lion and then we took the road back from Skye and now we're back here in Glencoe. And as we were driving around looking for places to shoot for sunset, we came across this beautiful set of cascades that you see here. Now, to my right hand side and just over here is uh, Buchel Etty of Moor. And I don't know actually what these are here. Um, if I find the names, I'll put them up here and what they're called. But what this is, I presume, is the same water stream that would come down that we photographed a couple of days ago when we were here last. And there's some pretty impressive cascades here. There's a two layer cascade and then it continues on further on down here as well. And then it drops one more. So. I think there's a lot of compositions that I can get from this one small area. I'm really, really happy with our trip that we've had so far. It's been incredible to be able to experience all of that Scotland has to offer. We went to some beautiful locations in, in Sky, and now here back in Glencoe, I'm sure we're going to get some nice shots too. The advantage that I have as well right now is because this is a cloudy day, there's no real hot spots of light for me to be able to deal with. So I'm going to get set up here and I'm going to take a composition looking down here with these rocks and with this waterfall as well. And I'll possibly get a bit of the mountain that's in the background. I don't know actually yet. We'll see once I get the camera set up. But that's what we're going to do here today for the beginning of day five, which is now quarter to six in the evening. But I'm sure we're still going to get some great shots here. So let's go and let's see how we go. This is absolutely beautiful. I've taken my first couple of shots here now and because like I said earlier on, it's a cloudy day, there's no harsh light to deal with. I don't need to actually use any filters. Now I'm putting my camera up at F16 and I'm getting a half a second exposure at ISO 50. Now I might be will, probably will put on some uh, filters and see what I can get then from a bit more creative point of view. But what I've done here is a pretty standard composition. I don't think it's anything amazing, my personal self because the image is starting from the bottom right hand corner with the water flowing up, up into the main cascade. And then I've got the rocks either side that are framing it nicely. Now, I've moved as well slightly further on down so that I can reveal a second smaller cascade on the left hand side. And I think that is a nice shot. Taking a portrait shot, taking a landscape shot, and they're all at half a second, which is my preferred period uh, speed for water movement anyway for the sea, but it also is working here as well for these waterfalls anything longer and it kind of smooths it out a bit too much you lose a bit of the texture that's within the water anything shorter and you don't get that movement so you can't actually see that the water itself is kind of flowing it's as if you're actually freezing the water mid-motion so this is the the first shot that i'm going to get i'm going to go up now to your left hand side up towards the top of the waterfall and i'm going to shoot back down the valley that you see well you can't see i can see here i'll show it to you in a moment because with this, you've got a lovely S-curve of this um, stream or river as it comes down here. But there's a couple of trees there and then there's some different layering as well, which I'll show you again in a moment. I think that's going to be a nice shot also. So, show you the first shots anyway that I've got from here and we reconvene when we get up to the top here shooting back down the river.
Right, so I'm up now at the top part of the waterfall and I'm looking right back down and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I have this floor here that's on my left-hand side and then I've got the secondary floor below and like I said, it kind of S curves down. Now, I don't have a full visibility from here to be able to see the continuation of the river but I can allude to the river is continuing down obviously when you're looking at the image. Now, there's a couple of the trees as well that I would have said there and that's actually been framed nicely in the background by another mountain that's there as well also the other tree not so much so i might move around and change composition just so i can kind of give a bit of separation as well to that but absolutely beautiful place to take some photographs i'm going to again take some landscape and i'm also going to take some portrait and still i don't need any filters and i'm getting my half a second exposure and that's giving me some beautiful flow in the water and also some lovely detail as well so I'm going to play around here, try and fine tune my composition and see if I can get it just right. I'll review the ones that I've taken anyway, make sure they're all okay. But I do think that this is going to be beautiful shots right from here. Now, even moving that small little bit more has revealed a lot more for me within the frame because where I was stood over here, the continuation of the water was actually being stopped because the rock that was sticking out, I couldn't see what was actually happening or where the water was going. But if I mean stood here now as well, you've got some beautiful rock and rock shapes. The water comes in, it kind of curves around like a bowl and then will continue on down through the valley. Settings again at the moment here. Um, it's getting a small bit darker actually, so the clouds are going a bit darker. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change it to F11, and I'm still a half a second in ISO is at 50, and that will allow me to have my half a second exposure, which is what I'm going to stick with for this shoot, I do think. But yeah, I'm going to grab this shot now. I'll give you a look at it. I'm doing a um, landscape, and I'm also going to do a portrait shot. And I think that this shot actually is really, really nice because you can see quite a lot that's the actual open vista that I'm looking at here, as well as the water taking up most of what I'm supposed to be looking at within the frame. And now for my final shot at the top end here, I think what I'm going to do is come all the way over to here. It's okay, Jeremy, do stay there. I hope they can see me. But this is there, looking at this on the far left-hand side of my frame, flowing in, then flowing down over to the right-hand side, and then continuing on down into the valley below. I do think that here actually is probably a bit too much going on, probably a bit too chaotic, but I do like the way the water is flowing in on the left-hand side that's here. The tree as well that's there is a small bit better. I might actually try and get a bit lower so I can get a bit more detail in relation to that with a bit of sky behind it so you can actually make it out because I do think it's probably going to be lost right now and where I am at the edge of the mountain the framing isn't ideal for it but yeah what a beautiful cascade really really good rushing water as well happy with the shots that I have so far I'm going to continue on down now and shoot back up to a couple of different cascades that are below so we'll say goodbye here to these main cascades I imagine and we're going to be down to the smaller cascades a bit further on and i'll try and make more use of those trees as well as i move down but yeah what a beautiful find that we have here right at the side of the road Coming down lower now here to catch this shot and what I've decided to actually do is ignore everything else that's going on here and just look at the flow of water that's below me 
with the tree that's over here as well on the left hand side now again i'm going for my half a second and i can only go in portrait here even on my widest which is 16 mil on this uh, lens i won't be able to get everything in so what i might end up trying to do is a pano shot so i'll take maybe three shots that are here utilizing then stitching them together so i can get the water coming from this side with the waterfall and then the waterfall coming down below me as well a bit sketchy towards the edge but i'm going to be careful obviously you know i don't want to fall in but it's good grip anyway the ground is nice and dry settings again half a second probably around but maybe f14 f16 that kind of way and my iso is staying at 50 as well so that's going to be my next shot here anyway hopefully it stitches together if it does i'll show it to you if not you'll just see a panorama or a portrait sorry version of the shot from here yeah do you find the stuff yeah sorry let me show you there. You're loud, like. But it's okay. I got it all. I got it all on camera because everything was recording there. Always, boy. you do if you caught a thousand midges? I burn them! <laughs> well, that was a hasty retreat that we had to make there. It was like an ta attack of the million flying teeth. They just came straight towards us. We were relentless, so we had to leg it out of that spot. But I'm happy that we got there. I'm happy that we got some shots as well. Now, myself and Dermot and Patrick are actually contemplating whether or not we're trying to go out for sunset. Because, you know what, they say, oh, the sky is bad for midges. There was none in mid none compared to what we see here in Glencoe. It's absolutely horrendous. Really? So I think this is probably going to be the end of what day five? Four? Five. Five of our trip to Scotland. We've been beaten back by the midges for today, but happy with the shots that I got. I think it's going to be uh, a nice place to find. Hopefully we'll get up in the morning for a sunrise. Don't know yet. Could be the end of my photography series from Scotland, but let's wait and see. Until the next time, thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall. Well, they say that all good things must come to an end, and this is the end of my incredible photography road trip in Scotland for 2022. Now, I had expectations before coming, and those were all well and truly blown away. We seem to have it all. Amazing atmosphere around every corner. Ridiculous rainbows ludicrous light shows, rain, sunshine and all set with backdrops to die for. Now I normally do a highlight and low light reflection on every trip but this one was extra hard. So many highlights to mention like the journey from Scotland to Skye which was like something out of a fairy tale. The actual fairy pools where my partner in crime managed to bag his bucket shot. There was the Quirang and the Old Man of Store from which a photography point of view are like something from Mordor. And finally, get to see and immerse myself in so many other locations I'd only ever seen on a screen before now. Now the lowlights were few and far between, perhaps not having any wave action on Elgol, the relentless wind on Nice Point, the millions of midges that all wanted to feast on us in Glencoe, or taking that shortcut on the way up to the old man of store that was actually a fast cut directly into a bog. These are all memories that will stay with me for a very long time for sure. And now that I have the photos and the video from these five days, I will no doubt relive it over and over again. Now I'd highly recommend taking a dedicated photography trip. It's such a fantastic way to experience a location and not be pressured by external time monsters. Thank you to everyone who has followed this journey with me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who takes the time to watch my adventures, comment and share my work. You are all absolutely awesome. Oh, and speaking of awesome, 
My two buddies who came on the road trip with me were absolutely just what it needed. I'm really looking forward to more adventures together now, and we've had so many laughs that didn't even make it on camera. An extra special shout out needs to go to Dermot for his excellent planning, driving, cooking and company. And until the next time we travel the sky, possibly in February 2024, Schlangefall. <laughs>